Hello, my soccer universe to part four of the FCON jersey review. Well, the w time of shooting this, we are already past the quarterfinal stage and none of the teams that are in this group are still in the competition. Still, we have to look at the jerseys. I'm wearing the Cote d'Ivoire jersey uh, from the 2010 World Cup. Um, fortunately, they didn't go far, although they were probably the best African team uh, at that time. Uh, I just love it because of the elephant here. I'm all of those 2010 Africa shirts. They are great. They are great. Almost all of them. But yeah, so uh, the only thing is that the crest here is the shield. Uh, I actually like the crest where it's the country outline a little bit better. But we're not talking about the uh, FCO jerseys from uh, in 2010. We're talking about the current ones. Uh, and we're not starting with the Cote d'Ivoire, we're actually starting with Morocco, jerseys that we have already seen uh, at the World Cup, and I've written on my blog ab uh, about them. Uh, look in the description below. Um, when I look at this home jersey of Morocco, um, per se, there is nothing really wrong with it. It's a red jersey, white collar, white sleeve cuffs, white Adidas stripes, white numbers. Um, and you know even the numbers on the back there's why there's really not much added to the entire jersey the only little flash of color comes from the moroccan crest which i actually like a lot um they remember in the 94 jerseys but they were hugely on there my biggest gripe with this one is not necessarily in the simplicity because it is a it is a decent look but the lack of green you have to see the entire uniform that you get some green in there and this is where I have a problem. Previous Morocco jerseys by Adidas had uh, some green in there and I even wouldn't have mind, minded if it, you know uh, replaced the white with some green or do a little bit more green here. So for me, uh, uh, the interesting part is that at, at the AFCON they have used a different numbering style which reminds me a lot about the La Liga uh, style. So yeah. Um, it's not an endearing jersey it's not a bad jersey i think if you wear it uh it is distinctly moroccan i personally prefer morocco in green a little bit more um but hey the flag is red it's with a green star so therefore um i'm fine with that it's just there should be a little bit more green than just a crest on there for that a little bit for lack of imagination just five stars and I can say the exact same thing for the away jersey. And here it's even more glaring that, uh, you know, this is the template that we have seen Ajax uh, ride really hard in the Champions League. We have seen it on Lyon, uh, where they usually had the shoulder in one color and then the additional stripe here uh, in another one. Here it's all the same color. And at least here, I would have wished that this here comes in green or the shoulder is in green. Uh, so for that, this makes this a rather boring jersey to look at. I mean, the template is, a, is an okay one. And as I said, the Ajax shirt looked great. Uh, the Lyon shirt looked all right-ish. Um, so I really don't get why we cannot get this band here in green. It always reminds me this template of the New York Rangers um, NHL uniform. They have a similar shoulder yoke to that one. Again, just for a little bit lack of... Um, imagination or you know a failure of putting a color in there if there was a little bit of green in there i would give this a lot more uh a lot higher rating but i remain here with the five stars that i gave on my blog speaking of imagination now we get to the cote d'ivoire uh and this is the jersey that puma already released for 2018 and most of those 2018 puma jerseys for the big teams they were a sight to behold and i think the, the cote d'ivoire jersey is probably the best of them uh you know that puma had all these crazy dot patterns well with the african teams they took it one step further First of all, note that the crest is not this one, but really the country outline with the elephant in there, which is uh, pretty cool, I have to say. And also note that there is a soccer ball, but this is old style and it really doesn't bug me here because uh, it just makes so much sense. Also the trunk of the elephant forms, forms the initial C, so the crest is one of the best crests around. They have two stars, I have only one star because they are one in 2015. It is orange. I really like the color with uh, the flag kind of in there. 
And then, yeah, let's talk about the elephant in the room or on the jersey, I should say. The entire dot pattern print is, of course, a huge elephant face. Uh, it looks a little bit like a robo elephant, but it's a very strong look. You have down the middle the trunk, you have the eyes where the puma cat is and where the crest is. So this basically replaces the eyes. Then you have the huge... Um, uh, what's the ivory teeth? Uh, the tusks here uh and then i don't know what this uh shady pattern is Pro probably should be represent the body it looks wild i have to say maybe even a tattoo but you know i uh, i like it when they have the elephant print here i liked it when uh in the next edition they had an elephant with a, a swirly trunk here uh i didn't like the 2014 world cup um kits i actually liked the one that they were wearing at the past afcon where they, you had only the tusks on the back side of the jersey this one is maybe taking it a step too far still uh, of all the ones that puma produced this is probably the best one and it still stays within the uh, or, or, or within the reasonable boundaries I, sh I, I should say i wish they wouldn't have used the horrible puma font but what can you do where shall I go with this one? I want to give this six stars just because it's a little bit too much. Imagination is there. It is an Africa keep that I, I would expect, but um, almost a bit too much. And, you know, um, the geometric pattern to make up the elephant, I didn't like that much either. Um, the away jersey, very simple. I mean, uh, Puma got slammed for it, but actually I, I do like this one. I mean, it's just white. You have the flag here and you have the flag on the back and you have the crest. Um, when you see it in play, it actually looks quite classy. Uh, simple yet classy. So this is always a good look. I also like that they used um, uh, green numbers uh, most of the time with those. Uh, I think at the AFCON they used actually orange numbers. Uh, initially was, as I see here, uh, released with green numbers. <coughs> this is now a question of taste. Maybe maybe the green numbers look a little bit better, but if I look at here in the match picture, the orange is also quite legible and you know, orange is kind of the main color of the home jersey. Um, going back and forth on that one, uh, whatever it is, I think it's a quite decent and nice looking jersey. Uh, yes, it is simple, but there is a beauty in its simplicity and for that I give it seven stars. Now, we get to South Africa, a jersey that we have already looked at um, at the Women's World Cup jersey review, link above. Um, the first thing when I saw this one is, yes, it looks good, but it looks way too similar to the Australia jersey. Uh, and yes, they were released at the same time. I don't know how much they have uh, looked into it. Yes, they use also a similar color scheme. Yes, the Australia jersey has waves, this has stripes of different widths, which gives it a more distinct African feel. Uh, if I wouldn't have seen the Australia jersey, I would say this is an absolute uh, banger. Uh, with that in mind, I'm, you know, I, I'm not as excited about it as I could be. Still, it is a great jersey. Um, I do like that they use now really this Protea crest. I'm not sure if they need this South African Soccer Federation logo, which is so-and-so, you know, it uses the uh, soccer ball that I uh, love to hate so much. Um, argument could be made for swoosh and Federation crest to be switched. Um, but I understand if Nike wants to keep it where they uh, on the proper uh, right of the jersey. Uh, on the back, the pattern continues. You have also, it make, actually makes quite, quite sense, this taping that contains the South African flag. And if you look at the South African flag, this is where my biggest gripe with the South Africa jersey per se comes from. The yellow is the smallest color in there. Absolutely the smallest color. Um, you can use all the other great colors on there. Yes, there's a little bit of green. Uh, it is such a colorful flag, make a colorful jersey. Uh, I really, really, really like the South Africa jersey that they were wearing um, up until the 98 World Cup. Those were imaginative, they were not necessarily pretty, but they were, uh, they were something different. Uh, those I would like to have seen more of. 
The yellow is a little bit almost too African, almost too standard, um, especially if you have such great colors. I would understand if they make a green jersey and then add a little bit of color. So, you know, you are called the Rainbow Nation. Use a little bit of rainbow colors here, not just yellow and green. That's where I have my trouble with. Other than that, this jersey really looks great and I gave it for the Women's World Cup review. Seven stars, sticking with that. The away jersey I even like better. I mean, it is crazy. It uses the same uh, striping pattern, but puts it all over the jersey. And then just green. So you have the dark green, you have light green. Uh, it's an awesome shirt. <laughs> it is definitely different. It's definitely awesome. Uh, again, more colors could have been used. However, um, I really like the craziness. I mean, if you look at it on TV, uh, it has a life on its own and I also like that if you look at the pattern there's an, yes, maybe a slight regularity in there but it's not uh, quite obvious at first and this is what I like. So it's different with, it's a little bit um, some systematic chaos I have to say. Uh, and then the yellow accents, yellow numbers on there makes for a wonderful overall look. Cannot go wrong with this one. Um, yes. You have other colors in the flag, use the other colors, but I still, I love this jersey. I gave it eight stars in the Women's World Cup. I stick with that one here. And now we come to the secret jersey, more or less, because it's really, really hard to find pictures of that one uh, online. So I just use screenshots, Namibia. And the crazy thing with Namibia, in three group stage games, there were three shirts. What I assume to be the home shirt is the one they wore when they were actually the nominal home team against the Cote d'Ivoire, which is this wonderful blue jersey with a little bit of, um, you know, horizontal bands that are a little bit, uh, some imagination, sand dunes. Um, other than that, it's, it, it, it is more or less a plain blue jersey with some darker accents. But it looks organic, it looks fine. I think that the umbro uh, diamond stripe here is a little bit wacko but this has been going on um also note that the pants are blue with a red sidebar and the red is missing again namibia has a very colorful flag where i would wish more colors are used the crest is awesome again more colors uh I like the pattern on there, I like the numbering style, I like a lot about it, it just looks a little bit too plain and for that I give this only 6 stars. Then uh, I think the dedicated wagers is the one they have been wearing against Morocco. It's the same uh, template, except if you use it now in white you have red numbers and you have the um, band here still in blue. Uh, again, crest is awesome, just wish it was a little bit more colorful. These are fine jerseys, but you know, there's also not too much difference. And for that reason, I also give this six stars. And then against South Africa, they were wearing a red jersey, which I think is the third jersey. Again, similar template. Um, maybe the red is the one that I dislike the most, but you know, uh, they're all so similar. But um, for me, Namibia and red, <laughs> I, 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 I don't know. I'm not, I'm not too crazy about these ones, but you know, since they're basically the same thing uh, as the other ones with the colors, I like the blue the best. I like the white, uh, makes sense. The red one I'm not so crazy about, so I'm giving the red one just five stars. Well, and that is that group D of the AFCON. Let me know which jerseys you liked of these. Um, whether you agree with my rating, uh, also drop a line below which jerseys you like, which ones you dislike. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these, and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.